Hello YouTube, welcome to part 8. Today we're going to do a little bit of navigation. And we've been using navigation this whole time since the beginning with this await and uh, asynchronous. But we're going to be getting a little bit more in depth on it and uh, just go over it again, create another example for you. So first things first, let's go ahead and create a new view. Well, a new page. Let's just call this navigation example. And we're only going to be creating two things inside of here. So let's create a stack layout with horizontal options centered. And vertical options is centered. Next, we're just going to create uh, a label and a button. Next, we're just going to create a label and a button. So, label with the text first page. And we'll also give this horizontal options centered actually text horizontal text line that would work better centered and a button with the text of go to second page and we're just going to create our click method as well now text has to be capitalized but we're going to type in go to second page pressed that's going to be what our method's called. Now let's go ahead and open up our .cs. We're going to create a public method. Actually, we're going to create an async void method. And then that uh, what we called it, go to second page press. And we need an object sender and event arguments. Let's call that E. Alright, so this is going to give us a little green underline saying that we actually don't need it to be in asynchronous, but we're going to give it a uh, asynchronous, I guess function. So navigation dot push async new and we're going to end up naming it second navigation page. So go ahead and create the new page. Second navigation page. There we go. And you can just remove this text and we will just put in here second page. So first we need to go to the main page actually and add this. So just as we practically just typed new navigation, my fingers want to work, dot push, new navigation. Sometimes these uh, suggestions really mess you up. So we're just going to give it the name of navigation example. <sighs> Today's just apparently not my day for typing. And we'll just say short navigation example. Alright, now let's go ahead and just run this. Here we go. Now go to second page, and we are at the second page. So, since that works, we are actually going to pass data from the first page to the second page. We 
we're going to go ahead and do that by going to the CS. We're going to type in second page. Okay, so now it's giving us an error because it does not take an argument yet. So we're going to fix this error by going into our second page.cs and adding a string and we'll call it text passed. So then inside of here, we will actually go back to here. We're going to take out this text and we're just going to give it a name, a Xamarin name. I'm just going to call it the second second page label. Go back into here, save everything. Second page label dot text equals text passed. All right, now I'll go ahead and run it again. So the first page and then the second page. And we actually passed the second page text through the uh, technically the first page, but we called it the navigation example by adding it in here. Now if you wanted to add like another um, text or object, you just create a use a comma and then separate it out. So like second parameter. And then obviously you would have to go ahead and add this in here. String extra text. Make sure everything's saved. There we go. So that actually works, although we don't have it assigned to anything. So, all right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.